Speak handsome and pretty, are you all right? Today we will talk about the Roman Empire and its importance in the history of planet Earth. If you like history content, leave a like, subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any videos and let's grow this community of history lovers. If you want to delve even further into the study of the Roman Empire, I'm leaving some links to books on this subject in the pinned comment. So enough rambling and let's talk about what matters. The Great Roman Empire begins with a simple settlement on the Italian peninsula in 753 BC. In the 8th century BC it lasts 12 centuries and moves between monarchy, republic and empire, dominating a large part of Europe and Africa and ends with the destruction of the Byzantine Empire or the Roman Empire of the East. The most famous legend of the foundation of Rome is that two brothers Remus and Romulus were raised by a wolf, these brothers have a fight where Romulus wins and kills his brother Remus, thus founding the city of Rome and becoming the first king. From it, that same city would be the foundation of the great Roman Empire, scientists however describe the beginning of the history of Rome with the Etruscan population that lived in the region of Etruria. The Etruscans shared the region with the Italic people like the Latins, Sabines, Umbrians, Samnites, Ossians, and Greeks, the Etruscans dominated the region and the city of Rome and in that period seven mythological kings reigned with Romulus I followed by Numa Pompilio, Tullius Hostilio, Anco Martio, Tarquinio Prisco, Servio Tullio, and finally Tarquinio the Superb, who transformed Rome from a small pastoral town into a real city, as Rome was close to the Greeks, they ended up assimilating many aspects of them with the end of the monarchy in the 5th century BC and deposition of King Tarquinius the Superb, Rome adopts the republican system and begins to dominate the regions around the city, entering into war with the Volsci, Equas, and Veii, thus becoming dominant in its own region of Lazio, with the consolidation from this territory Rome begins to invade the Gauls and Samnites, and the famous Punic Wars against the Mediterranean Empire take place and with it the domination of Carthage and Corinth. With the growing influence of the city of Rome, the exodus from the countryside to the city occurs, generating a large population increase, which led to the emergence of the first large estates operated by war slaves to generate enough food for the population, with the end of the Punic Wars. A major civil war between Julius Caesar and General Pompey, Julius Caesar emerges victorious and declares himself dictator, but he is later assassinated in 44 BC. With the end of the Republic, Augustus establishes the Roman Empire, the city of Rome was already considered the largest city in the world with population estimates from 500,000 to 3.5 million people. Augustus made many projects such as the Forum of Augustus, Arapaces, ended the Roman Senate, in a period of peace known as Pax Romana, his successors continued the development of the city until Nero rose to power and the Great Fire of Rome occurred in the year 64 AD. Rome was a subsidized city with grain paid for by the government that collected taxes from agricultural towns, commerce, and industry did not play such a significant role but Rome was still the largest commercial and industrial city in the world, but by the end of the 2nd century Rome was hit by a great plague that decimated the population during the reign of Marcus Aurelius, thus harming his biggest project which was the Aurelian walls that surrounded the entire city of Rome. With the growing fear of barbarian invasions and the decline of the population of the city, in the year 330 Constantine first established the second Roman capital in the city of Constantinople and later separation of the Roman Empire of the West and Roman Empire of the East or Byzantine Empire, the religion that was strictly pagan in the empire begins to show signs of change with the strengthening of Christianity, which made two senators Theodosius I and Gratian declare the Christian religion as the official religion of the Roman Empire and thus the Roman bishop became the first pope with the Edict of Thessalonica. With the officialization of Christianity as the main religion of the empire, many pagan temples were converted, 
such as the temple of Romulus and Remus to the temple of Cosimo and Damiao, the great pantheon of the gods to the temple of the martyrs, and the great basilica of St. Peter was built with parts of Nero's old circus. The Western Empire ruled by Romulus Augustus is invaded by Oduasser, and the Emperor Romulus is deposed, with that is the end of the Western Roman Empire, with Oduasser and later the Ostrogoths ruling the region from Ravenna, this situation remains until the Roman Empire from the east invades the region and begins a series of victories and defeats against the Goths, the Gothic War ends in the year 552, with the end of the war the region of Rome was completely devastated and the city had very few citizens, the Byzantine Empire or Roman Empire of the East would find its end in the year 1453 with the invasion of the Ottoman Turks. And with that we finished another video, I hope you enjoyed it, stay with God and until the next video.